I'm Matthew Cravat from Cravat Attack. A while back, my brothers and I tried chocolate plague hot sauce. Now, despite the name, there's no chocolate in chocolate plague. It's named after a chocolate pepper that's brown in color. And this is actually um, one of the hottest sauces I've ever had. Its ingredients are the chocolate butla pepper uh, mash, which is the, the butla pepper and just vinegar, just mashed together, just distilled vinegar and pepper put together. Um, and then a pepper powder, because it wasn't hot enough, I guess. Super hot, hurts for a long time. I wonder what it would be like if it really was chocolate, though. So I made um, some vanilla ice cream today, and I added a little Fox's You Bet chocolate syrup and a tablespoon of pucker butt chocolate clay hot sauce to the one pint of ice cream that I made. And I have not yet tried it, so this is going to be exciting. Um, a little over frozen, so I'm not going to have that much because that's about all I can scoop. So try it with me, shall we? Pucker Butt Pepper Farms Chocolate Plague with chocolate syrup and vanilla ice cream mixed together. And I can see the peppers. I just see peppers. I'm a little afraid. I may be regretting this. Chocolate ice cream. Mmm, peppers. Super, super hot peppers. I'm biting peppers. My entire mouth is inflamed. This is very similar to trying it just off a spoon fresh. It is incredibly hot. Um, I guess it's not as, as intense because I was almost like convulsing that time. But one tablespoon of chocolate flake to a pint of ice cream is a large amount. I didn't realize it was, but it is. Every spoonful is painful. It is really hot. Well, I'm going to chew or eat it because I served it. And for that rules, if you take it on your plate, you got to finish it. I'm happy I only got that much out of that frozen thing. I need to defrost it before I serve it again. I'm really regretting the fact that I can't have any people over during COVID-19 to share this with because I'm going to have to eat all that myself. And that's going to hurt. Well, I highly recommend if you make ice cream, put maybe a teaspoon in a pint of ice cream rather than a tablespoon because a tablespoon hurts. It hurts a lot. I'm in pain. Look, I am.